Today we're going to look at the waterfront real estate in Stanford. Stanford offers perhaps one of the best values in Gold Coast waterfront real estate, but the hard part is understanding the nuances of the area, the views from the shore, access by boat, where to find certain types of waterfront property, etc. Fortunately, I've been studying our coastline since I was a kid, and today I'm going to share some of that knowledge with you so you can decide which areas might be the best fit. Let's go. Hi, if you're new to the channel, my name's Charlie Vinci and I'm a Stanford Realtor. My team and I have put together a Stanford waterfront market report that includes active, pending, and sold waterfront property in Stanford. You can find it by going to the link on the screen. Let's start in the community of Dolphin Cove. This little community is perhaps one of the best waterfront values along the entire Connecticut Gold Coast. Just two building lots wide in most locations, nearly all of the property is waterfront. Add to this an excellent community center with a waterfront pool, a sandy beach, tennis courts, and a protected cove with a small marina, and you have yourself a rare opportunity and prices that are modest considering everything that the community offers. To the west, you have views of Cummins Point, which is a small community, and there are only a few homes here, but if something is available here, you should check it out. A little further off in the distance, you see the neighborhood of Old Greenwich, which is the single most researched neighborhood in the entire Gold Coast. If you want to learn more about Greenwich's stunningly beautiful waterfront, be sure to check out our Greenwich Waterfront Tour. Did you notice the city along the horizon? That's Manhattan. To the south, you have sweeping views of Long Island Sound, and to the east, you have views of the Chapin Peninsula. And a little closer to shore, you'll see the private community of Davenport Point. You can find it and its sister community, Southfield Point, just north of Dolphin Cove. Some homes in Davenport Point have docks that are accessible at all tides. As we travel north up the harbor, you'll notice that this is an excellent location for large boats. You'll also find some excellent waterfront nightlife on both sides of the harbor. Crab Shell has been a town favorite for decades, and there's a water taxi that connects both sides so you can enjoy all of it. If you're looking for a waterfront condo, try exploring the west side of the harbor. The east side of the harbor is predominantly apartments. Let's hop over and take a closer look at the neighborhood of Chapin. In the northern part of the peninsula, there are several marinas capable of hosting large boats. This is also where you'll find the beautiful West Beach, which is public. If a private club is more your thing, you have two options. On the western side of the peninsula, you'll find Stanford Yacht Club with its junior sailing program, tennis, oceanfront pool, and a small beach. If you're a competitive sailboat owner or want to be, check them out because they host several regattas every year. If you like to relax more than compete, check out the Woodway Beach Club on the east side of the peninsula. It's part of the larger Woodway Country Club in Darien. It has a restaurant, tennis, and of course, a beautiful sandy beach. But what if the club thing isn't your vibe, but a quiet private beach is? Well, you're in luck. Nowhere else along the Gold Coast will you find such a plethora of small private beaches that are accessible by a small community of homeowners. I don't wanna expose any of these private beaches publicly, but let's say they are little known beaches with unannounced access points. They are truly a treasure and can be had for relatively reasonable prices when one becomes available. And if you want the ultimate waterfront home, one with a sandy private beach right in front of the house, Chapin can offer some excellent options here too. To the west, views are of the previously mentioned Dolphin Cove with Old Greenwich off in the distance. To the south and southeast, you have sweeping views of Long Island Sound. And to the northeast, you look over the Cove neighborhood and Cummings Beach. Cummings is a large public beach with easy access and plenty of parking. As we move along the coast, you'll see that many of the homes have private beaches, although they tend to be a bit rockier than the groomed public beaches nearby. To the south, you'll look over to Japan with Long Island off in the distance. The island that you see just offshore is the private Vincent Island. To the east, the views are over Cove Harbor toward Weed Beach and Darien. If you're interested in a waterfront that feels like you're on a small island, check out the Darien Waterfront Tour. I'll leave a link below the video. But first, let's explore the magnificent Cove Island Park and Beach. This is a wonderful location for a walk, bike ride, or just to lay in the sun. 
There's an ice rink, wildlife sanctuary, ball fields, tennis court, a concession stand, and more. Just north of Cove Island is Holly Pond. It's a brackish body of water with a small dam that keeps it full and isolated at all tides. It's a fun spot for water sports if you live adjacent to it. If you're thinking about buying or selling a home in Stanford, I'd like to work with you. While you're at it, head over to my site, grab the waterfront report that I created for you. I look forward to hearing from you.